The completed prototype of Iran's homegrown trainer jet was shown, bringing the country's military forces one step closer to self-sufficiency. Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Mohammad Reza Ashtiani attended the inauguration of the aircraft's production line as the Islamic Republic of Iran IRI, Air Force welcomed the second Yassin advanced trainer jet. For the next phase of training its pilots for Su-35 aircraft, Iran unveiled the first indigenous trainer aircraft. Despite Western sanctions, Iran is actively producing its own aircraft and developing its manufacturing capabilities. In an effort to overcome many of its challenges with educating pilots in both basic flight and combat, it was displayed next to a manufacturing plant, demonstrating that it was the last production version that will shortly go into mass production. The Yasin is a twin-seater, single-engine aircraft that can be used for pilot training, advanced pilot training, and weapon delivery training. It has a maximum speed of around 1,000 km per hour and a range of approximately 900 km. The Yasin's development is a significant step for Iran's defense sector because it demonstrates the nation's capacity to manufacture cutting-edge military equipment at domestically. Iran has been under international sanctions for many years, which has made it difficult for the country to import advanced military equipment from other countries. The Yasin is part of a larger effort by Iran to strengthen its military capabilities and reduce its reliance on foreign military equipment. It's also a symbol of Iran's technological and scientific progress and its ability to achieve self-sufficiency in various areas, including defense. The Yasin is also said to be capable of releasing weapons. Yasin is also capable of performing combat missions. According to one report, the Iranian jet is also built to carry out additional military tasks like close air support cause. Experts noted that this variant is not yet ready for use as a weapon and would require further research. If a cause variation is still in the works, we will likely see the design soon. Also, according to military analysts, Yasin's improvements enable it to train pilots for Iran's upcoming shipment of Sukhoi 35 aircraft from Russia. Before possibly flying the F-14 Tomcat, the F-4E Phantom II, the Russian MiG-29s, or the F-5E Tigers, the jet can help pilots master the fundamental strategies and tactics of air and air-to-surface combat. Today Iran will begin mass production of its home-made training jet, according to a senior official with the Ministry of Defense. Brigadier General Afshan Kajafard, the managing director of the Air Industries Organization affiliated to the Ministry of Defense, made the remarks during a ceremony on Sunday, where Army Commander General Abdolrahim Massavi visited the process of the flight tests of the Yasin jet. He said that the development of this jet was an outcome of the cooperation between the knowledge-based companies and the country's defensive experts.
He added that the technology used in the production of the Yasin jet has been based on the needs of the country's air industry. In March, the Defense Ministry unveiled the standard version of the Yasin jet trainer and the assembly line for mass producing the aircraft. The Iranian jet trainer has been furnished with a homegrown ejection seat, avionics, engine, and landing gear. The airborne weather radar installed on its radome has been manufactured by domestic knowledge-based companies. The new version of Yasin training jet that was unveiled on Monday appears to have been much more upgraded and developed in tactical terms compared to the first prototype unveiled during a ceremony in Shahid Noj Air Base in Iran's western province of Hamadan on October 17, 2019. The Iranian jet trainer is now furnished with a homegrown ejection seat, avionics, engine, and landing gear. The airborne weather radar installed on its radome has been manufactured by domestic knowledge-based companies. Officials have repeatedly underscored that the country will not hesitate to strengthen its military capabilities, including its missile power, which are entirely meant for defense, and that Iran's defense capabilities will be never open for negotiations. Leader of the Islamic Revolution Ayatollah Sayyid Ali Khamenei has repeatedly called for efforts to maintain and boost Iran's defense capabilities, decrying enemies for questioning the country's missile program. 